Hi there guys, Tom Quayle here. Hope you're all doing very well as ever. Back with another pedal demo. This is the Wampla Ego 76. Brand new compression pedal from the guys at Wampla. And this is based on Brian's take on an 1176 compressor, which is obviously the really famous Universal Audio compressor, kind of vintage FET style compression. And I think this thing sounds absolutely fantastic. Now, bear in mind that I am a Wampla signature artist, so on and so forth. Obviously check out lots and lots of other demos as well to make an informed purchase. You might think I'm biased, but actually I think this sounds fantastic. The name Ego just really quickly obviously comes from their previous kind of flagship compressor, which is used on a lot of pros boards because it's a fantastic sounding compressor with a blend control on there as well. And the Ego 76 kind of combines some of the features of the Ego with the blend, but also sounds more like an 11, uh, sorry, 1176 style compressor, which a lot of people really, really like. Part of the reason why they like it is because of the very fast attack and release times. But this has got a whole range of different attack and release times and the compression knob on here kind of uh, gives you the ratio style buttons that you would have on the 1176 style compressor where you can go from low compression all the way up to sort of having all of those buttons dialed in at the same time on the 1176. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check one out. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. As usual, as you'd expect, top mounted jacks, really solid construction built in the USA, really nice switches, really nice dials on here as well. Nice artwork, so it'll look good on your board. So all the classic stuff you'd expect with Wampla. So let's check it out. In terms of gear, I'm using my Ibanez TQ MS1 guitar. Uh, that's going straight into the Ego 76 and then into my amp switcher and it's going into a Laney Super Cub 15 and then that's going out to a Zilla 2x12 cab that's mic'd up with a Royal 121 and an SM57 and then you're hearing some delay and reverb from Axe FX 3. Alright guys, so let's switch this off, have a listen to my relatively clean classic sort of edge of breakup sound on the neck pickup. <laughs> That's my clean sound. Now I'm going to switch it on. Controls wise here, tone is dialed slightly higher than normal. Uh, we've got a relatively standard kind of mid level of attack and release. And then we've got the level slightly boosted. Uh, the blend set just over halfway and the compression boosted here. Now the blend, just so you know, before I actually play the tone, is blending in the amount of compression, just like on the Ego compressor. And now, <laughs> First thing I noticed with this compressor is how good the sustain is and how natural it sounds as well. Um, it's got lots of character, it slightly darkens the sound, which is why I've boosted the tone control here. But the, um, the sustain is incredible. <laughs> and that's with the release set halfway. If you boost the release here, it gets really ludicrous actually. You can hear with all that sliding around how the guitar is reacting and it's really squishing the tone, but it doesn't sound kind of fake or weird with lots of pumping. It's a very natural sound. I really, really, really like it. Now, the other thing with the 1176 style compression is again, how fast you can get the attack. So if you want no transient on the note at all, if you dial this back, you can hear. Let's blend the compression all the way in so you can really hear the effect it's having and increase that compression. So this would be like having all the ratio buttons in at once on the actual 1176. So you can really hear it working there. Now if we bring the release down as well, you wouldn't run it this way, but it's just allowing you to hear the effect.
instrument. It makes playing guitar basically so easy, it's ridiculous. But still, I think it sounds good, actually. Boost the level here to compensate. That's kind of nuts. And just like the 1176, I'm hearing a little bit of grit in there when the compression is really high. And if we pull this back out, Pushing the front end of the amp a little bit there. And again, although it is very squished, I think it sounds very, very natural as well. So let's increase these back to where they were, about halfway up. Just kind of how I would run it, just pull the compression back a little bit, boost the volume to compensate. So let's bring the tone control all the way up. retaining a good amount of dynamics but that's more in terms of sort of the the way the pick is interacting with the amplifier which is really really nice much fun to play with this on. Let's pull the tone control back. That's more of the natural sound. Switch it off. Nowhere near as much fun to hear, nowhere near as much fun to play. Even though it's a great amplifier. Switch this back on. tone boost. Oops. Beautiful sound. Let's increase the attack so we get more of the transients. Blending a little bit more 
compression, but we'll pull it back. <laughs> So for me, a fantastic sounding compressor that does the 1176 thing really nicely, which is very popular at the moment. People are really into this style of compressors. A few brands have been releasing this style. This one, really, really nice with the blend control on there as well. Very simple to use, just a single foot switch on there. Just kind of, uh, this is the kind of paddle I would kind of set and forget really. Um, just to make playing easier, it's very, I hate kind of using this word, but very transparent, very natural sounding, but can be used as a really, affected kind of compressor as well thanks to that large amount of compression and the very quick attack and release times or crank the release and get amazing sustain with some of that kind of grungy sound of like pushing all the buttons in on the 1176 so really really cool hope you guys enjoyed the quick demo if you did make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and down below you will find a link to Wampler's website so you can check this pedal out for yourself and of course purchase it direct from them or from your local Wampler dealer. If you enjoyed the demo guys, make sure you also check out the links down below for all of my lesson content. You can find the uh, link to my app solo. If you want to learn how to visualize the fretboard, you can check out my ultimate fretboard visualization course. Again, link down below and all of my legato and theory courses from my own website. Again, all linked down below. Hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.